What exactly is going on with a fry scream? What does it have to do with fry? And how can we make these screams thick and rangy while preserving our breath and our throats? Let's hone the right sounds and sensations with help from a little Kim Dracula. <laughs> Listen closely to the words in this song I'm betting a lot of people never had a place they belong Ooh. Give them a platform for doing something evil Better not look at me wrong Cause I'm gonna mess you up for Celebrity status Just for murdering people Maybe doesn't it feel so familiar One of the barriers, at least for me, and I know a lot of my students, when it comes to learning this type of scream, is the term fry. Because it means, or has come to mean, so many different things. There's fry in terms of vocal fry, or the fry register. And then many people will say, well, I'll just add fry to that note. Ugh! They're using the word fry and distortion or constriction or compression. They're using all those words to kind of mean the same thing. And this is where I was confused for a really long time. You see, the constriction or compression necessary to get the intensity out of a fry scream isn't vocal fry or fry register. It actually feels opposite in a lot of ways. That's not to say that true vocal fry isn't useful in developing your fry scream. More on that in a minute. But first, let's dive into my performance of this Make Me Famous segment, and we'll name some sensations, and I'll help you get there. Now, in order to truly enter into this type of vocal exploration and experimentation, you must have the basics down. To dial in your support and the right mindsets for doing these things, click the link below and join my free course. You can find it in the description or the pinned comment. Listen. Listen closely to the words in this song. I'm betting a lot of people never had a place they belong. Very low breath pressure. Very low breath pressure. Very little true voice or good closure. I'm doubling it with something that has less fry less vocal fry, and more true voice. Listen closely to the words in this song. I'm betting a lot of people never had a place they belong. So those two approaches layered together create this wonderful depth of sound, and you hear Kim Dracula do this as well. Listen closely to the words in this song. I'm betting a lot of people never had a place they belong. Give them a platform for doing something evil. Better not look at me wrong. All right, now listen to this transition. Give them a platform for doing something evil. Better not look at me wrong, cause I'm gonna mess you up for real! The giveaways are in the transitions. So let me transition a couple times for you. Look at me wrong. Look at me wrong. So what I'm doing is I'm adding intensity to what was otherwise this sort of engagement. Look at me wrong. This right here now, though, this distortion sound is not fry. It is constriction, upper constricted tissues, including but not limited to the false chords. I'm adding that on top of well-engaged primary chords, uh, not going from primary phonation uh, to loose primary chord engagement. Those are different things. That's why I'm not adding fry to my voice. Uh, that would be that, more closely anyway. But uh, the higher I can make that engagement feel in my throat, the airier and breathier it sounds. Ah! Notice I've still got that primary pitch going on. My primary chords are still engaged. Ah! Now, as I pull back my primary chord engagement and direct the sensation of compression, uh, holding back air more, uh, and then shape the sound with my mouth, I can also think loose primary chord engagement. Yes, real vocal fry. Uh, behind this, uh, that sound. So I remove the note or I remove the pitch 
by letting my primary chords flop around. <laughs> So what you hear me doing here... Give them a platform for doing something evil. Better not look at me wrong, because I'm gonna mess you up for real! Mess you up for real! Now you can hone that balance of primary chord engagement and constriction and make it beefier or thinner. And mouth shape helps a lot too. Now there's also the fry screaming technique going on in the singing in some of these layers. It's really important to acknowledge layers and timbres. Okay, listen here. Wrong, cause I'm gonna mess you up for Celebrity status, just for murdering people. Baby, doesn't it feel so familiar? Okay, now listen to this other layer here. Ah, familiar. I transitioned out of that note, not fully out of the note, but it gave it that nice sort of sound. Listen here on this layer. Feels so familiar. Familiar. Listen to them together. Now listen with the with the main line. Celebrity status just for murdering people. Baby, doesn't it feel so familiar? The textures and flavors that come out of playing with the transitions and the balances between what our primary chords are doing and what our constriction is like. Little bit lower, little bit higher more constriction with less primary chord engagement, more primary chord engagement with less constriction. All of these things create a whole range of sounds around this idea of fry screaming. And when looked at and experimented with in this type of way, at least for me, opens up tons of possibility rather than feeling like I'm going for like one thing. Oh, I need to learn how to fry scream. No, I don't know about that. Learn these balances and the sounds you're hoping for will come. Now let's talk just a little bit about adding distortion to your vocals in post. This is something that every vocalist you love does in the production process. Here's that opening sound. Here it is without the distortion on it. That maybe is a little extreme. What we don't hear as often, or the differences as often, is this. Listen closely to the words in this song. Let's get rid of the distortion. And you can hear, and this is the distortion EQ and compression. Listen closely to the words in this song. I'm betting a lot of people never had a place they belong. Give them a platform for doing something evil. Better not look at me wrong, because I'm going to mess you up forever. Don't get me wrong, cause I'm gonna mess you up for Vocal processing does a lot for these sounds. Don't use them as a crutch, but don't be comparing your raw vocals while you're driving or in your room with produced vocals on recordings. That's really dangerous because it causes you to do things with your throat that nobody's throat is doing to get those sounds. These sounds are augmented and enhanced with the vocal production, distortion, reverb, delays, doubling like you've seen here. To hone different types of screams more, check out this playlist. And again, if you need help developing the foundations in your voice and mindsets, Click the link below and join my free voice course. We'll see you for more.